Hi, thanks for being here today. My name is Jessica Anderson, Executive Director of Heritage Action, and I'm so pumped that we are out in front of the Dirksen Senate building today to show our support for the fabulous <laughs> Judge Amy Coney Barrett. Woo! All right, we're going to get things started. We're going to get things started with what we do best. Fill that seat. 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 We are one step closer to filling that seat as the Senate Judiciary voted Judge Barrett out of committee this morning. Major milestone, huge first step, and now she will head to the Senate floor in just a few days for her final confirmation vote. Here to show support for Judge Barrett, we have some awesome speakers today. I'm so excited to introduce our first one, Carrie Severino. She's the president of Judicial Crisis Network, the woman behind it all, coaching us through this process. all so much. It's really exciting to be here. I'm so excited that we had such a nice, smooth committee hearing, but it's so easy when there aren't the Democrats there to kind of make, <laughs> make problems, right? Especially because, you know, it's, it's so discouraging uh, to see that even simple acts of courtesy and kindness, like giving a hug to Chairman Graham and thanking him for really what an outstanding set of hearings he ran last week, and I, I was very impressed too. So thank you for Senator Senator Graham. I will join Senator Feinstein in saying that's one of the best set of hearings we've seen. So congratulations on, in a very heated environment, being able to pull off a, a, a very civil, um, pleasant hearing in, com in, uh, in contrast to most. And obviously, uh, thank you to all of the Republican members of the committee for all the work that they did and continue to do in highlighting how important uh, this vacancy is. And boy, thank you to Amy Coney Barrett for giving us the most incredible civics lesson that anyone could have. What is the role of a judge? And she just nailed it hour after hour, day after day. It doesn't matter how many times she was asked. Um, it, was, it was a really exciting opportunity to be part of. So I, as a mother and as a lawyer and a, a woman myself, I am so excited that Amy Coney Barrett is going to be kind of the face and the role model that my daughters can look up to on the Supreme Court, but I think we all have to also bear in mind that this is this incredible victory is not one that the left is going to leave standing if they can do anything to help that, right? They're already tr talking about trying to, if they can win the White House, if they can win the Senate, and if they can win the House, the next step is to try to cancel this victory, undermine it completely by adding seats to the Supreme Court to override this vote for the rule of law and for sticking to the text of the Constitution and the law. We know what Amy Coney Barrett stands for. She was very clear she wants to take politics out of the process. She doesn't think her own personal politics on anything from Obamacare to guns to global warming to all the things they tried to get, pin her down on. That's not the question. The question is how do you interpret the Constitution and the law? And she says stick to the text, stick to the law. That's what America wants. Right. That, that, that is what we've seen with Trump's judges, but that's not, unfortunately, what the Democrats want. What they want is to have a super legislature of unelected judges who are going to cancel out what that law in the Constitution says and move it constantly in a more progressive direction, even than they're able to do with it following the legislative process and following what our, what our elected representatives want to do. We can't allow that to happen. We cannot allow them to try to t turn the Supreme Court into a third political branch. It needs to stay out of the political system. So I would encourage everyone to celebrate this uh, this victory. And I think we, there's, a, there's a lot of excitement that's gonna be going on Monday when we can celebrate a new Supreme Court justice, but we have to always remain vigilant because there, there are movements afoot to try to cancel that out and to try to pack the court again. It's a bad idea, it was a bad idea when FDR did it, as, as Ruth Bader Ginsburg herself acknowledged, as even Bernie Sanders acknowledges, and when you're to the left of Bernie Sanders and Ruth Bader Ginsburg, you got to take a step back and think, is this really the right place to be? So, uh, so thank you all for all of your support, and we're very excited to uh, to continue uh, the process of confirming the next Supreme Court justice. Fill that seat. Woo! Fill Thanks, seat. Carrie. Fill, fill that seat. seat. That's awesome. We're so thankful for all the groups that have been part of the effort to confirm Judge Barrett to get her through this process. And Carrie said it best. We do not want someone on the bench who has an agenda, who has a policy plan in place. This is about interpreting the law and upholding our Constitution. 
Let me introduce our next speaker, David McIntosh with the Club for Growth. He's got a good word for us this morning. David, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you all for coming. This is crucial, crucially important. I'm going to take that off while I talk to you. This is a battle much larger than confirming one more justice to the Supreme Court. Amen. This is a battle about the core of what it means to be American of our freedoms, our constitution, our liberties. And you're in this fight with us. We're gonna to win today, we're gonna to win on Monday, but the Democrats aren't gonna stop, as Kerry pointed out. So this is a fight that we have to take into the next election. We have to fight after the next election. We have to fight to preserve a free, independent, neutral judiciary, not one where they pack the court and turn it into a political body, this is a fight, as I said, about what it means to be in America. And we're gonna win this fight because the American people love this country, they love our Constitution, and they cherish their freedoms and an independent, neutral, free court. So thank you for coming, thank you for fighting this fight. We will win. Thank you. Thanks, David. Thanks for being here and everything that Club for Growth has done to support this effort today. Let me introduce our next speaker, a woman that doesn't need much of an introduction, Jenny Beth Martin, the founder and president of Tea Party Patriots, here to speak on behalf of why we want to support and confirm Judge Amy Coney Barrett. Thank you so much, Jessica. I'm going to just... Today's committee vote is a significant milestone in the... Pro in the going to start over. <laughs> Today's committee vote is a significant milestone in Justice Barrett's confirmation process and we have every expectation that she'll be confirmed on Monday. To their disgrace, the Democrats chose not to participate in today's judiciary vote. It's an incredibly childish decision given the Senate's constitutional duty to fill Supreme Court vacancies. The conservative grassroots are very excited about the success in the process to date. We thank Judiciary Chairman Lindsey Graham for his leadership, and we thank every committee member who voted for Judge Barrett today. And once the final vote happens on Monday, we know Judge Barrett will serve the American people with honor and distinction as the next Supreme Court Justice. Thank you. Fill the seat. Fill that 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 seat! Woo! Awesome. The support for Judge Barrett is clear. It's ruminated from coast to coast. We've seen it in the polling as she's ticked up, even amongst undecided and swing voters. This is a real justice that has such an incredible opportunity to return the bench to its originalist, textualist, constitutionalist perspective. And on behalf of all the grassroots across the country that are here represented today, we're supporting her and we're supporting a return of the rule of law. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Our next speaker is Casey Maddox. He's with Americans for Prosperity. We're pumped you're here, Casey. Thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks everybody. It's great to be here. Uh, I am Casey Maddox. I'm Vice President for Legal and Judicial Strategy at Americans for Prosperity. And on behalf of thousands of grassroots activists across the country for AFP, we thank the Senate Judiciary Committee for voting her out this morning, and we call on the full Senate to confirm Amy Coney Barrett is coming Monday. Amy Coney Barrett is the kind of judge who will defend the Constitution. She will respect the rule of law. She's going to defend our freedoms and not legislate from the bench. And that's exactly the kind of judge that we need on the Supreme Court. And Americans are excited about that. The polls show it, as you just heard. Uh, the, array of groups that are that are here represented show up. We don't always agree on everything, but we certainly agree on Amy Coney Barrett. And the grassroots response that we have seen from Americans all over the country demonstrates it. We have seen over 600,000 phone calls and emails and letters in the Senate offices in just in less than four weeks in support of this nomination. That's incredible. And what it says to me is that Americans all over the country understand the importance of the rule of law, the importance of having a Supreme Court that is not attempting to be a super legislature, but is attempting to be a court that respects the will of the American people, uh, defends their freedoms. Uh, that's exactly what we need, and Amy Coney Barrett is exactly our kind of judge. So on Monday, let's make Judge Barrett Justice Barrett. Thank you. Thanks, Casey.
Y'all, the support for her is just completely clear. We're excited to see her move through this process. A, a affirmative vote from the Senate Judiciary, and we've got an impromptu guest that just joined us, Barbara Ledeen. She is a staffer on the Senate Judiciary. She's got a note of encouragement. She has been through the thick of things through this nomination process, Judge Kavanaugh. Actually, I don't even know how many that goes back, at least the last five. Yeah, I mean, she's this girl's been around. So let's give it up for Barbara Ledeen. Thank you. Yeah, I've been doing this since the year 2000. I, I know I look it, but uh, yeah. Um, I, I came out here now because I wanted to thank you. Um, we got an enormous amount of support, which our senators absolutely need. Don't stop now. They have to be here this weekend when they'd rather be home. Uh, campaigning for their seats. So they deserve a huge amount of support from you. Please don't forget to do that this today and tomorrow and over the weekend to thank them and to encourage them. I want to also say, as a feminist from 1968, <laughs> that, that Amy Coney Barrett is what we had in mind at the beginning of the feminist revolution. She is the face of feminism. She is the face of feminist freedom and of feminist choice for all the things that we want in life, for us and for our families. She is the perfect person to take RBG's seat at the Supreme Court. She furthers feminism. Thank you for all your help and all your encouragement and all your devotion to faith and freedom. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you so much. And she's exactly right. You know, I watched these, I watched the hearings take place and as they were happening, you look behind her and you see this beautiful family and you realize that the false choice that feminists have placed before us, that you have to choose between a career or being a mother, she just shatters that. She shows you can do both. And you can do it well, and you can do it without notes. I mean, come on. This woman is incredible. All right, our next speaker, Mallory Quiglia. She is from Susan B. Anthony List. SBA List has been on the ground in battleground states across the country, supporting Judge Barrett, supporting the life movement. Let's give it up for Mallory. Okay, well, Judge Barrett can do it always without notes. I sometimes need notes, but um, we're so grateful. Thank you, Barbara, for coming out. Please tell Senator Graham, Chairman Graham, the president and all, the, all of our allies on the Senate Judiciary Committee how much we support them and appreciate them for their commitment to Judge Barrett. Not only did they stand by her through this grueling uh, confirmation process, but they seized the opportunity to go on offense and explain to America the injustice of Roe versus Wade. Uh, as Chairman Graham said this morning, it's okay to be pro-life and be on the Supreme Court. Yes. Yeah. Isn't that encouraging, ladies? Yeah. Um, as a woman who has dedicated my life to working towards ending the injustice of abortion, um, this moment holds particular significance. I know what it's like also, and so do you ladies, to be demeaned by the pro-abortion lobby. Uh, that's when they bother to acknowledge our existence at all. Um, and many of my colleagues here from Susan B. Anthony List, many young women from Students for Life, from Heritage Action, we know that you can all relate. Everyone should be able to celebrate Judge Barrett's achievements, especially those who declare themselves to be feminists. Uh, but pro-abortion Democrats and their allies in the media, they just can't help but fear monger and reveal their hypocrisy. The motivation behind their attacks is very clear. For decades, the courts have been their favorite backstop, their tool for overriding the will of the people uh, and imposing abortion on demand up until the moment of birth. They're terrified of losing it. I love this sign over here about Roe versus Wade. We are women here today supporting a woman with a judicial philosophy, the right judicial philosophy that radically disagrees with the seven unelected men who struck down every pro-life law across this country in a single Supreme Court decision. That was a profoundly undemocratic decision, and it has never been settled in the hearts and minds of the American people. And we are confident that someday soon, that life, truth, and justice will prevail. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. 
Let's carry on that tune and listen next to Autumn Lindsay with Students for Life representing the next pro-life generation. Autumn, thanks for being here. As a woman, as a conservative woman, as a pro-lifer, as a family who's adopted five children, I cannot be more proud of Amy Coney Barrett as the nomination for this Supreme Court Justice. Amy Coney Barrett shatters the pro-choice narrative that women can't do it all. They say, well, we need abortion to be successful. Women need abortion so that they can focus on their career. And you know what Amy Coney Barrett did? She said, I'm not going to sacrifice my faith. I'm not going to sacrifice my family. I'm not going to sacrifice my marriage. And I'm not going to sacrifice my career. She did it all. And she stands for every woman to say, women can do it all. And that's why she has my support. She is not only qualified, but she is an amazing role model for every conservative woman who feels like we don't have representation in this nation. I was at the Women's March, and I can tell you, they don't like us. I had conversations with people saying, why, why are you here today? And every single person said, I'm here because I support women. And then I said, do you support Amy Coney Barrett? No, <laughs> because they don't like her. And that's why they're against her. It's so ironic seeing a bunch of feminists protest a woman. The bottom line is Amy Coney Barrett could not be a better nomination, and we are so proud to see her in that seat. We, Students for Life, are in 10 different states right now because we understand what the next couple of days mean. We have until Monday to do everything that we can to make sure that our senators represent us and confirm her. Yes. Go to protectlifeinlaw.com and encourage your senators to vote her in. She deserves to fill that seat. Yes. Yes. Fill that seat! 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 Awesome! I mean, this crew could go on all day! I love it! All right. We've talked about the need to put her on the bench. We've talked about a Thanksgiving for senators to get us to this point, to Chairman Graham for ushering her through a smooth process. Doreen Denny from Concerned Women for America, the big bright pink bus, here today to give us the final word. Doreen? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Jessica. Well, we have been across the country. We've been 3,200 miles, and uh, we have 1,500 miles more to go in 12 states across the country. And let me just tell you, women of America are excited and energized about having Judge Amy Barrett become Justice Amy Barrett. You know, as, as Chairman Graham has passionately stated, this conservative, this movement right now, what's happening at this moment, it's not just about breaking through a glass ceiling for conservative women. It's about breaking through a reinforced concrete barrier. Yeah. We have been silenced. We've been um, degraded. We have had years and years and generations, frankly, of being dismissed. And it's time to say no. So we have been um, just going around the country energizing women. Today's vote today on the Judiciary Committee says that we, um, this is a really a moonshot for young conservative women who are witnessing for the first time that they might have a place at the table, that their views count. We do not have to compromise our beliefs. Our voice matters. Stand tall and stand proud. Our daughters, including my own daughter, see in Judge Barrett the strength that comes when a woman of conviction thinks for herself when she pursues excellence in her profession and she embraces the values of faith and family as unshakable foundations of her life. We celebrate this milestone. We celebrate this moment for conservative women. We've been um, experienced the disdain and the bigotry of the left for far too long. We agree with Judge Barrett that upholding the foundation of our Constitution as the bedrock of our freedoms matters. And you know, we want to give a special thanks to Senator Ernst and Senator Blackburn. That's right. They have played, yes, thank you. They have played a very important role representing our voice and our values in this process. And we are especially thankful and grateful to have had them on the Judiciary Committee for this confirmation. You know, there is no woman in America that's more ready and more qualified to be wearing the robe of an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court than Amy Coney Barrett. She will carry a banner for women of faith across America to the highest court. And today's boycott by the Senate Democrats is nothing more than a political stunt. We know that. Americans know that Amy Coney Barrett deserves to be confirmed based on her qualifications and her character. We urge all senators to exercise their duty to advise and consent on that basis alone and vote yes on her confirmation. 
The American people are waiting to receive a victorious ACB to the Supreme Court in the same spirit that they embraced the notorious RBG. Thank you. Thank you, Doreen, and thank you to everyone with CWA for the awesome work you guys have been doing in that bright pink bus as it goes mile to mile, <laughs> state to state. Well, as it's been obvious and shown today throughout this entire week in this judicial process, the support for Judge Barrett is real. It's enthusiastic and, it, and it's contagious, which I know we're not allowed to use that word, but it is, it's <laughs> contagious. And we're so excited and thankful to the Senate Judiciary today for voting her forward. As she moves to the Senate floor, we want to encourage all senators to vote yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Send her, her to the court. Let's have a full seat before the election. And let's ensure that the third Supreme Court Justice from President Trump sits at the Supreme Court. So thank you all for being here. This has been outstanding and amazing. If you want to stick around for a word of prayer, Peggy's going to lead us right over here. And thank you all for everything to support Judge Amy Coney Barrett. Fill that seat! 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 Fill that seat!